Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back. I'm Anime, and today I'm gonna to be doing a review of two different types of Everlane denim and bodysuit. Just one bodysuit. So, in general, I tend to gravitate towards sustainable brands. It's not always possible, but I definitely refer to uh, Fashion Revolution. Is that what the website's called? and like their transparency index and things like that on the regular so I can see what brands are trying harder than others. That's kind of for more high street, mainstream brands and then there's things like Everlane or Cezanne. We love Cezanne. We love European style. Everlane, if you didn't know, is an American brand. It is an ethical and sustainable clothing brand and it is very, very cute. It's also not super expensive. It's definitely on the more pricey end, like it's more expensive than let's say H&M, but it doesn't have the environmental impacts that H&M might have. Uh, if you also didn't know, this kind of maybe a little bit relevant to this discussion, discussion? video. I am studying peace and development studies. Oh, I'm doing a master's in peace and development studies and sustainable development, something that I'm very interested in. So obviously I've been wanting to try out Everlane for a while. I did actually go into an Everlane store and not buy anything because I was just so overwhelmed. I only bought a sweatshirt for my brother, but I, I was living in New York. I'll link some of those videos up here. Um, it's not of me in the store, it's just of me being in New York. Um, but I really did take an interest in the brand. Also so did my mother, funny enough. She loved Everlane. But I've been wanting to try the denim for a while and I was like, I don't need jeans right now, so I'm not going to. And then I uh, ripped a massive hole in the crotch of my jeans and suddenly I did need jeans. So I looked at other brands, but Everlane just seemed to be the best option for me. And I purchased two pairs. One was a new style and one was on sale because I kind of needed quite a few more pairs of pants. I was kind of lacking in the pants department. And I was interested to see how the kinds of styles and fits of pants compared. Um, I'll show you, I can show you one. I'm wearing another pair uh, that I got and I'm gonna do like a try on section in this video. Um, I also got a bodysuit. As you can see, it is the long sleeve, is it a v-neck? It's pretty low cut, I will say. I guess I'll like start off with the bodysuit. I have worn this bodysuit twice now. and I only got it like a week ago, less, yeah. Uh, I'm obsessed with it. It's amazing quality. I got a size small and I will say it is True to size, uh, I'm a pretty small person. I have a very short torso, and this is just about long enough for my torso, which I think is kind of wild. I'm five foot two, and like I typically, in like jeans, I don't always need to buy a short length leg. Uh, I don't know what it would be, but I don't have short legs for a small person. You'll probably see in the try on clips as well. Um, I would typically wear a US. 6, UK 10. Uh, in pants I would go up a size but sometimes in tops I can go down. So size small is definitely the right size for me. As I said it is quite low cut so that might be something if you're conscious of. Uh, for me I don't typically wear low cut things just because I had bad skin for a long time and I had scarring on my chest but uh, it's a little chilly sometimes when you're out in the breeze but I do really like it. I also got the one that is like a brief or bikini or whatever it is back. I didn't get the thong back one. Uh, just because I was like, what if somebody wants to borrow it? Like, it looks really nice. What if somebody like wants, to, I don't want to give them like a thong back bodysuit. Um, I will say that the booty of it is very small. I might as well have kind of bought the thong one. So just putting that out there. Overall, it is very comfortable, but definitely if I'm going to purchase from Everlane again, I'm definitely going to be buying a bodysuit. Can't remember how much it was. I'll insert it here or here if I can, definitely worth it. Like it's double lined at the front. So, you know, if you're someone who doesn't always need to wear a bra, you definitely wouldn't with these. Uh, the sleeves are pretty tight, I'll say that, but they are like, the cut is perfect on the stripes and everything. So yeah, it's a really high quality piece of clothing and I would really like to buy a couple more. I know I'm gonna wear this all the time layering. It's definitely an autumn winter piece, uh, but Hopefully I'll have inserted a try on clip of this over me talking and talking. But yeah, it is a little bit low cut, but that's just me because it's like a winter piece. It's just a little exposed. In the summer, I would definitely go for a V-neck, maybe a tank or a cap sleeve. But yeah, it's really comfortable overall, I have to say. And it kind of sucks you in as well. So very nice. So I got two styles of jeans from Everlane. I got the 
they're both high rise. One of them is the authentic stretch and the other is just the regular. Can't remember what it's called, like authentic denim or something. The stretch is also the curvy fit and it's in a slightly darker wash. And then the not stretchy is also not curvy and it's in a lighter wash. And that was the one that was on sale. So I have that one here. Um, I really, really like this color of wash. Uh, this color of wash, this wash of denim. This is the 28 ankle. Uh, I, I don't think they're very cropped, I have to say. Uh, kind of strange, but the tag is still on these high rise skinny. I will insert a clip of me trying these on here. Uh, hopefully in this clip, I have been able to close them. So both of these jeans are in the same size, but these non stretchy ones are a lot tighter. Um, I am, you know, at a chunky point in my life right now. So maybe when spring rolls around, I will be able to close them. But yeah, they definitely fit smaller. They are still really nice, but they, I find them quite tight on the thigh area. Uh, so I can't like get them all the way up to my waist was kind of an issue, uh, but they're still super, super nice. Like the quality is amazing. Um, and they are just a flattering cut. So I don't have the same issue that I do with a lot of other denim where the, the, this happens, this you know, where it like exposes the zipper. That always happens with my Madewell jeans, but it hasn't happened with these at all, which is great. So then the curvy fit are my new bay. Uh, again, they don't have the stupid zipper being exposed issue that I did with Madewell jeans. Uh, they are a slightly different wash. I can't really show them to you now because I'm wearing them, but they are also high rise. Uh, they're so comfortable. Again, they're 28, which is my typical size. Literally all my pants I own are 28. The only thing I do have to say about them, and I don't know if this will be visible in the clips that I, like my try on clips, is that they're a little bit loose at the waist now. Like they've stretched out quite a bit. They also got a little bit baggy at the knees. And I'm someone who tries not to wash my denim way too much because it will weaken it. But they are super comfortable. They're very flattering. It's so nice having a cute, flattering, comfortable pair of denim. Just really good. And my mom was quite a similar build to me and she saw them and she was like, they're so nice. And I was like, yeah, mom, they're curvy fit and everything. So great. And uh, she tried them on and she is apparently going to place herself in Everlane order in the very near future, which I think is kind of funny. So it kind of shows that, you know, a mother and her adult daughter might be wearing the exact same pair of pants. You know, versatility, am I right? But these are the regular length. I didn't get the short length and they fit me perfectly, which is a little bit wild given that I'm short, but then again, my legs are pretty long, so. It kind of depends on you and your build, but I definitely, definitely recommend the Curvy Fit. I think they're actually even better than the Madewell Curvy Fit jeans. They're similar uh, in the cut, but they are, for me, just the quality is a little bit better in Everlane, despite the fact that Madewell high-rise Curvy Fit denim are almost double the price of Everlane jeans. So keep that in mind, my dudes. I'm just so glad that they launched the Curvy Fit jeans. Like. Alleluia. So in summary, I love Everlane denim. It's not their fault that the other pants don't fit. I'm just a little chunky monkey who should have only ordered curvy fit pants. They're typically the only pants that I do wear, but I can't resist a bargain. Uh, definitely gonna buy more bodysuits. They are just so comfortable. They're really flattering, versatile. I'm probably also only going to buy Everlane denim from now on because the price is right, the fit is right, the color is right, it's all right sustainability or we're, we're on all on track for everything i was already sold on everlane and now i'm even more sold the international shipping was not expensive uh i think you do pay tax and charges and stuff like that like vat and people in europe will know uh before it ships so you know what it is i didn't have any extra costs when it came to the door also it came in all paper packaging which is really nice but that is it for my Everlane review. If you want to see pictures of me in this stuff as well as the try on clips, follow me on Instagram at anime.yt because I wore them when I was in Belgium recently and I took lots of pictures when I was there. So I'm wearing this bodysuit and these jeans and a lot of it. I will link the exact products that I have down below if I can. Um, as you can see from this video, I definitely recommend them. Uh, but definitely leaning towards the curvy fit jeans if you're on the curvy side. 
if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram i will leave the shortcut to subscribe here some more videos of mine over here if you're interested and i will see you in my next video